When we laugh, we relax. When we relax, we learn. Humor is a gift. Humor provided me with a number of gifts in my life, but before I share those with you, I would like to tell you about the gifts that humor has for you. According to research at Loma Linda University in California, did you know that one minute of anger can weaken your immune system by five hours? On the other hand, one minute of laughter can strengthen your immune system by 24 hours. Humor helps us fight stress. Also, when we associate information with humor, we tend to remember that information longer. In my keynote, Relieving Work-Related Stress with Humor, one of the ingredients I include is a positive attitude. A positive attitude includes humor. I think that's so important. I put that as number one on the list. Let me ask you something. How many people here in the room consider themselves positive people? Positive people by a show of hands? Good, excellent. Now, I know, some people have their hands down, maybe they're shy, maybe they're skeptical. If you're skeptical, that's okay. There's comedians who tend to be skeptical, and that's cool. That gives them that skewed perspective that makes them funny. But consider this, according to research at the University of Utrecht in the Netherlands, positive people statistically live longer than negative people. How much longer? Up to 10 years longer. Now how many positive people do we have in the room? <laughs> A little bit more. But I get it, sometimes it's hard to be positive. And in those moments, I say, throw the superhero cloak over your shoulders. Two of the most important words in the world are thank you, the attitude of gratitude. Just by saying thank you, we release all sorts of positive chemicals in our brains. Increased gratitude equals increased self-esteem equals increased confidence. If you need more proof, consider a study that the United Nations does every year, the happiest places in the world. And luckily, Canada has been in the top 10 for years. But what was interesting about the study, there were some countries that had a lot of crime, a lot of poverty, that scored higher than other countries that had less crime, less poverty. And one of the reasons was that advertisers don't care about poor, poor people. Advertisers aren't marketing towards poor, poor people. And as a result, poor, poor people are forgotten about. And as a result, poor, poor people aren't flipping through magazines all day targeted towards them going, you know what, I'll be happy when I buy my own island. I'll be happy when I buy my own private jet. I'll be happy when I buy my own yacht. Instead, Poor, poor people say, I'm happy to be alive. I'm grateful to be alive. Thank you 